Cats and Bulldog here, and welcome back to another uh, video. Oh, hold on, I think Flash is on. Wait. Oh, come on. Not this will do. <laughs> hey, weird start already. Uh, welcome back to another video. Um, Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Le Lego Star Wars Venator Class At or Republic Attack Cruiser. This is probably one of my favorite sets I've owned or own, I just got this set, and this set is actually as old as I am, so, um, if you want to know how old it is, you're gonna have to google it, because I'm not saying, um, so this is actually a really awesome set, I just gotta say that, so before we get into the cruiser, let's start with the minifigures, so in the set, they come with two sen senate commandos, they have uh, these long snipers, and they have the classic clone head. And then on the back, they have kind of like a clone back, but it's all blue. Oh. Next up is, they. it comes with Chancellor Palpatine. Um, he has kind of like his red Coruscant Chancellor um, clothing. He has like red flap on the back of him. And, um, all of these figures have, uh, one face, because this is an old set, they didn't really have two faces back then, and then they have some blonde Count Dooku hair. Next up is the, oh, clone, oh, clone gunner. Um, this is like a normal clone, but he has, um, different printing. Now, I got this off, I got this set off of Bricklink, and I don't know if the these guys originally came with weapons, but um yeah. Um the also has the classic clone head. He has a phase one clone helmet with uh printing. Hold on. Hold on. Ah, I can't get him back into my stand. Oops. <laughs> yeah, this is already a weird video. Alright, next up is the clone pilot. He is also like the clone gunner, phase one clone, but different, um, different printings. He mostly has different printings on his helmet, has the Repu two Republic symbols and a yellow, um, let me go on across it, across of it. Alright, so that's the minifigures, now let's go on to the actual set. Hmm, I think we should start with the front. Now, um, this part right here can actually lift up to show the inside so let me show you the inside here oh. inside here we have Chancellor Palpatine's desk and he has a little chair here and then there's not much space for minifigs to stand up but if you kinda like just put them in there you can uh, get a lot of a lot in there and then in this little crate here we have the Death Star plans and then on the side of that part, we have two movable uh, cannons or guns. It's on that's on this side as well. So that's the inside of the cruiser. Next, we go to the side. They ha we have these little turrets on the sides. Um, uh, they can spin around, and yeah. And then this wing part. Here, let me put the tripod down. Can actually lift up. So, if you can just, uh, lift this down. And this right here is actually a bomb crate. Um, normally you can, uh, or you could twist the, this little knob here and bombs will come out. And as you see, there's, or you can kind of see there's a hole there, so it'll come out of the cruiser. But let me show you how it works. Just twist the handle, and the bombs will come out. Oh, um, I'll find the other bomb and then, but I'm just gonna put this back in here. If I can actually do that, okay. And then in here, you can pull out a cannon where the clone gunner will be. It has two flick fire missiles. Oh, and it, it's kind of easy to come off of its little thing, uh, it stays on. There's a little seat for the clone gunner to sit in, and there's two kind of like cannon missiles here, and then flick fire missiles. And you can push that back in, and then you can do that on the other side. Alright, now, there's also a handle here, 
you can use to pick up the cruiser, but I'm not going to use that right now. And then, hold on, if I can get the camera, the uh, tripod to stay still. Thank you. Back here, if you pull this out, this is where you can see the clone gunner. Um, as you so, as you see, there is kind of like a little control thing here, and there's just a tiny little place for the clone gunner to sit. And then, hold on, I don't know. And then, also that thing kind of just sits there loose, which is uh, kind of weird. But I like this set. So here is kind of like the uh, command center. It's a mini version, so you can't actually put anyone here. Um, there's nothing really to it. It's just um, the Re normal Republic command center, which I think they did a really good job designing that. Let's go to the back now. There is a problem with the set when you, there. If you pick this up, this part tends to kind of uh, split apart. So you would have to put it back down, open this, and then kind of push the pieces back to its place. Now I'm going to, no, no, I'm not gonna risk it. So let's let's go to the back here. So as you see, here are some little kind of like propeller or um, engines to um, move the cruiser. And if you lift this down, there is an escape pod in it and you can open this uh, this way and you can fit about one minifigure in here. And then on the bottom here, here are some tiny engines to uh, propel the escape pod. And let's close this back up. Also, it's the same side with the guns, and yeah. So anyways, that is it for this set. I, I hope you enjoyed it. Please do make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications to know when I upload these videos. Um... So yeah, thank you, thank you for watching, and goodbye.